Um, so one of the other very popular questions is, and I think we've touched on it before, but I think um, expanding on it doesn't hurt. Can Malaysia ever see the light of a non-race-based party? Well, um, I think that the question is not too relevant, this month. You know why? Because Kandilan is have 151 seats in parliament. So which means that Malays, Chinese, Indians, Dayas, Kadazan, you can see them representing all these constituencies, have uh, managed to. Of course, they say, well, probably in some areas, I mean, the exception, for example, like Podrick said, Matampau, some others, where majority of the Malay is supported. But on the average, uh, it's less in terms of uh, numbers of Malay, say 40% or 35% of Malay overall, the support, Kandila is a multiracial party, but they also divided between PAS and AMNO. So when you say, for example, 35% for Kandila, it's break up between the three major parties. Um, Basatu at that time was not in the equation. Essentially, it is um, Kaadilan, PAS, and AMNO. Um, but you, has, you, have, uh, you have seen, particularly among the young, they are not as, they are race conscious in the sense that, of course, they are Malays, they want uh, Malays to be protected, etc. But then there is no this inhibition of, of feeling of uh, prejudice and hatred to the extent that you must uh, feel. And then in order to succeed as a political party, it has to be a Malay-based party. That, to my mind, is quite obsolete. And um, having uh, said that, I think our uh, hope is that the younger generation must think beyond this race and look at principles and policies um, and not uh, just the color of your skin.